previously on SOS Customs. All right, good morning guys. So I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this series on the Subaru. Now we come into our final phase is prep. So what we're gonna go ahead and start doing is going ahead and removing all the doors, door panels, gaskets, everything like that, um, and start getting prepped out for these jams. So once everything is painted on the jams, be able to reassemble everything and start getting ready for the outside. So first up, jams, let's go. Guys, we're in the masking process. Already got one side almost done. A couple guys on this thing, so we can go ahead and get this thing painted today. All right, guys, we have the STI in the booth. It's all masked up. We have every single nook and cranny here sanded down with 320, 400, and gray scotch right with sanding paste. Everything so that thoroughly sanded. Everything has been removed. Doors, hatch. Bumpers, gas lids, hoods, headlights, everything. We even, you know, loosened up the radiator so we can get the core support nice uh, and shot. So when you pop that hood, it just looks that much more nicer. We're happy to be doing this for the guys over at Throttle. I'm happy that this is going to go to a good home. And it's even crazier that this car is just going to be given to someone. Like, who does that? Who puts this much work into a car just to give it away? The boys at Throttle. We appreciate you guys believing in us and our body shop to get these cars the way they need to be looking. All right, guys, it's a late night here at SOS Customs. We got all the doors and the rear hatch here in the front booth, and they've all been prepped out, masked up, completely detrimmed, and they are ready for paint. So this is part of another change paint job. Um, it's just a lot of work, a lot of prepping, a lot of cleaning. Richard's over here getting this thing prepped up, cleaned up, so we can go ahead and get this thing painted.
boom and just like that everything has its base coat everything has its top coat now what this is is like a candy that's a tri coat with a heavy blue in it um, that goes over the blue base so it's gonna be a very blue color as you can see now we're just gonna go ahead and shoot some clear coat on this and uh, we should be fine. The reason why uh, we waited till the next morning to clear coat the stuff is because the mid coat is like a clear. So um, we need, you know, extra dry time on that so it's not tacky. So, um, you know, it doesn't encapsulate itself. So this morning we're just going to go ahead and shoot some clear. And we're going to go take a look at the car. See how it came out. The paint mixing. All right, got the candy down on this. It looks great. That wetness, that wet, wet. All right, guys, we painted these jams here earlier in the day, and it looks like they're all dry. Um, but it's already pretty late here at the shop, so we'll just pull this out tomorrow and uh. Pretty much hang the doors, hang everything, and start prepping this out for paint. Still got a ways to go. We still got to finish prepping. We still got to do a lot of things. But um, right now, we're looking pretty good. Thrall likes to make everything nice and easy for us. They didn't just want to give us some nice brand new carbon fiber pieces. They wanted them satin. So we are going to go ahead and shoot these with satin clear along with the vents uh, and along with the rear wing. So thank you Throttle for making our job so easy. Alright guys so we have some of the pieces in here for the Subaru, here is the bridge for the wing that we just shot with the matte clear. Uh, same thing with the hood, it has um, these vents that we're going to leave in matte carbon. So we shot this with the matte clear. Right now it still looks glossy, but overnight it will matten out. And here are the front bumper 
uh, fog light covers um, or ducts, whatever you want to call them. And as you can see, this one is already starting to matten out as well. So a lot of people say, why would you use a matte clear? Just to give you like a matte carbon finish. Um, and so what we do is we use our regular clear coat and we add a mattening agent to it. So you still have protection um, and it looks good as well. All right guys, here is this STI. It's getting masked up right now. Uh, it's a little bit late in the day to go ahead and uh, stay and finish, but tomorrow we will be in here and we'll be masking this thing up and it will be ready for paint and then it'll be out of our lives forever. And then Toronto will go ahead and assemble this thing. So huge shout out to Toronto for always helping us out with these projects. It's a lot of work when you're doing a full color change. So we appreciate them always helping us out, giving a hand. So tomorrow we will carry on with the Subaru project and we shall be in paint. So I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. And here we have the parts the next morning with our satin clear. So the only difference with this process when we clear coat the parts is that we put a mattening agent into the clear so it gives it that matte finish which is pretty cool it's something different that you don't always see kind of like a dry carbon which is something like i said just a little bit different different touches that are going to be on this car same thing with the bridge of the wing uh and i think we still have to do the grill but the grill has some paint work doing it as well so it's a bunch of little different stuff but here we have the matte carbon do you like it? Do you not like it? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right guys, so last night we're just here painting the STI and it's done and it looks so good. Let's take a look at this thing. Woo! That's that wet, wet. That's uh, the professional term we use for this is wet, wet.
I absolutely love this color. With, I went ahead and kind of unmasked this a little bit, but it's like super wet. I don't even want to unmask it, but with the dry carbon on there, it's going to look sick. Um, the rest of the body kit's still getting prepped out. So we got a lot of work to do there, but um, at least we could cross this off the list and we're one step closer. And in here we have the rest of the kit. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish it all off. Go ahead and get some sealer on it, some base, some mid coat and some candy. We gotta use every single part of this base to get everything finally painted in here. Uh, it's a lot of prep work, but I think it's gonna be all worth it when we're done. Okay, yeah, and here we have pretty much everything that is part of the Mountain Rider kit, the factory side skirts, um, and just other pieces like that. I really love how these factory vents came out. I think they look real nice. Looks like it's a part of it. Looks like you would never be able to tell that this was custom made to the car. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and start the assembly process. Um, we're probably not going to put the kit on the car because it's way too fresh and we don't want to start marking up uh, any pieces. But everything else like bumpers, headlights, side skirts, stuff like that we're going to put on. So let's get to it. It is out of the booth. It is time for the assembly process. Get a little bit of polish done on this side. I just cleaned up the wheels and we're about to get ready to slap them back on. Also ended up stripping down these window trims to bare metal. We're gonna prime them, paint them, and pretty much just doing all the assembly process. I know our workstation looks like a complete mess right now, but when you have about five, six guys working on one car, it's usually what happens. But we're looking good. We're almost there, home stretch right now. Here she is, the Subi getting all wrapped up. It's looking real nice. I really love this color. Uh, I think that all the little accents kind of make this thing really come together and I'm really happy with how it's coming out. So right now we're gonna go ahead and put this thing up by a mural, take a couple pictures and get this thing ready so Throttle can see it for the first time. This is the first time that they've seen it all put together and this is gonna be the first time that you guys see it all put together. So let's put it, get some glamour shots on this thing.
All right, guys, here she is all wrapped up. We're just wiping her down, cleaning her up, and getting ready for Throttle to pull up and see what is their new STI giveaway car. I think we knocked this one out of the park. Got this thing looking good, sitting good, shining good. Everything from the kit fitment to little stuff like the finishing of the diffuser, the wing, we got the dry carbon looking real nice. Got the roof painted up in black. So everything flows really well. Now the only detail that we have not finished is the grill. We gotta paint the grill and that's gonna be kind of a two-tone mix between the dry carbon and the blue. So I think it's gonna look really nice. As always, the homies at SOS Customs knocked it out of the park. The car looks absolutely stunning. Can't wait for you guys to see the photo set that we're going to be publishing in the next, next week. couple days or yeah. so. So thank you guys so much. Honestly, you guys always kill it. We don't have to worry about quality or anything like that. And uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot more to do on the car. Get ready. Yeah. A lot of work to do. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Really appreciate all the love and support you guys have showed us throughout these builds. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out our merch page uh, where we can get snapbacks, tees, hoodies, all that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link right here. Uh, and tune in next week as we get into the new build series on Dustin's GTR. Thank you guys as always here at SOS Customs. We got you covered. See you guys on the